Okay, then we'll add pull these down. Kick drum is not going to reproduce frequencies that high anyway, so there's no need to have those there. Okay. That doesn't sound bad. Let's listen to the difference without the uh, equalizer. Flat, dead, tight, and alive. Okay, the next thing we'll work on is the snare drum. And again, I want to uh, gate it and get rid of other sounds. So I'm going to solo and loop it right in between here. Actually, that's going to give me two hits in a row. So I'll do this. There's some kick hits there that do show up here. So let's play that snare. You can hear the uh, hi-hat and the kick drum, which we definitely don't want. So we'll go back in and grab that gate. And I believe they have a snare preset, which might be a little strong. It is taking out everything else, but it's also cutting off the snare. So we'll raise the, actually pull the threshold down until we can hear other instruments. You can hear those starting to kick in. And then raise it up a little bit. Just enough to get rid of those. And then raise the attenuation. Now you can just barely hear the kick drum in the background which is okay because that's allowing for the snare to ride out instead of getting cut off. And also the release being at 100 milliseconds allows that as well. And then we're going to go to the mixer. And snares are generally mid-range, not much low, not much high. So I'm going to pull out the low. little much. And then go back to my effects. And for the snare, I'm just going to add a 15 band. I don't really need a 31 for that. Pull out the lows all the way up to about 100. You don't need those. And just about everything we pull out of the kick we want to put into the snare. So we'll try the 1K. Gives you that pop. Okay. Next thing I want to do is add a compression unit. You could use the Acoustica compressor or the Classic compressor. I happen to like this Vox Steady. And I'm going to put that just under the gate. Dual, low cut. Raise the output slightly. want to adjust that. I can hear a little bit of something happening. OK. 
Okay, that might sound cut off, <clears throat> but when we add a reverb, and again, you can use the uh, classic reverb or the acoustic reverb, but I like to use um, Anwita Soft's Spazio. And I'm going to choose Hall. I don't want to pre delay. A little much there. And the size or decay will pull down so it doesn't sound so huge. Okay, now without the looping, let's go back to the uh, beginning here and, and see what it sounds like just with the kick and the snare. Okay, I can hear some tweaks that I'm going to want to make later, but um, you get the idea for that. Um, the first tom. Generally, toms are about the same thing as a kick drum as far as equalizing as if I can find a hit. So we'll solo this tom. And you can hear the other music in the background. So again, we want to go with the gate and uh, I'm going to choose a preset here I'll go with uh, snare only and just go from there backing it off there I can't hear any of the other instruments so that's probably good we'll go into the acoustica mixer and on our Tom channel here, Tom 1, again, it'll be like a kick drum, so we're going to pull down some mid, add some high. And then go back to the VST effects. And add a 15 band. Don't need 25 or 40 or 63 for a small Tom like that and pull out some of the mids maybe add the highs for clicking we can use the leveler on the EQ to pull it up a little bit and then we'll add a reverb again and see how that sounds with the other instruments hard to tell with everything else making noise pretty much adjust the rest of the toms as the first one and I'll uh, I'll do that off camera here and then I'll meet you at the uh, hi-hat and cymbals